the weaned calf this year is going to be coming out of conditions where there's been limited forage and within the, the minerals within that forage can have variable availability because the grasses have gone dormant sooner and we have more fiber that tend to tie up some of the minerals that are in the, the plants. And being weaned lighter and then going forward and potentially going to a feed yard at a lighter weight, what we're going to be having as a challenge could be more immune challenges in those calves because they've come off of stress conditions, their trace mineral status is lower, and they're going into the feed yards at a lighter weight. So there's a couple things we can look at management of these calves. We can look at the, the producer side where they may want to do some sort of pre or post weaning conditioning program where they will consider the nutrition of these calves both from a energy standpoint and also a trace mineral program along with their vaccination program because that will be very important for building status to support immunity. If we look at those calves being received into feed yards at the slider weight and the challenges again from a receiving program, we would want to make sure that we have adequate trace mineral supplementation. So we're looking at levels of supplementation as well as looking at what sources we might use in order to replete these calves faster and minimize those negative effects that we may see. I will also add one other point. Um, I typically talk more about trace minerals, but the other consideration can be vitamin A in these calves is coming out of droughty kind of pasture conditions, then the natural vitamin A and the beta carotene that they normally could get from the forage will be um, lower this year. And so that's something else that we would throw into the mix at looking at these supplemental programs. We would be very interested in looking at what the zinc, copper, manganese, cobalt, and selenium levels are in those programs and then also being sure that we look at some source of mineral that would provide more availability than just our ordinary sulfate or inorganic sources. And as I mentioned before, we'd also think about vitamin A because of the lack of um, vitamin A status those calves may have due to the droughty forage conditions. Um, certainly vitamin E would be helpful as well.